Hello guys, today I'm going to explain to you, 1989 release series, Dragon Ball Part 2, spoiler ahead watch out and take care. After narrowly escaping Yamcha's attack, the three headed for Fire Mountain in search of the sixth Dragon Ball. Bulma and Goku are then shocked to learn that the bright sunset they were admiring is actually Fire Mountain. Meanwhile, Yamcha and Pure are chasing Goku's gang. Back in the Diablo Desert, Mai and Shu are returning to Emperor Pilaf without the Dragon Ball. Their fears are then fueled as they are both shocked by electric shock, however, this backfires on Pilaf and is shocked as well. Yamcha and Poor claim that they want to see Goku destroyed by the Ox King, a young girl, later revealed as Chi-Chi, screams and runs away from a giant dinosaur, attracting his attention. As they watch in shock, the young girl cuts off the dinosaur's head with a tool on her helmet. Then she fires a beam from her helmet evaporating the dinosaur remains. As Yamcha greets him, she tells him not to talk to strangers and tries to do the same to him. Yamcha dodges and slams him to the ground. In Fire Mountain, Goku uses the flying Nimbus to reach the castle. The flames are very strong, so Goku burns his tail and falls into a nearby lake. Bulma and Oolong meet the Ox King who they think is trying to steal his treasure. Goku jumps on the flying Nimbus and flies around the Ox King, making him dizzy. Ox King then asks Goku who gave him the flying Nimbus and Ox King soon learns that Goku has met Master Roshi. He asks Goku where he can find him as Roshi was the old sensei of the Ox King. The Ox King then learns that Goku is Grandfather Gohan's grandson, who was as close to the Ox King as they were brothers. The Ox King then asks Goku if he can get him a Banshu fan from Roshi, as it is the only thing that will put out the flames on Fire Mountain. Goku accepts and then asks the Ox King if he can have the Ox King's Dragon Ball. Ox King then tells Goku that the previous day he had sent his only daughter, Chi-Chi, to retrieve the Banshu fan, but now she is concerned about him as she has not yet returned. Ox King says that Goku can marry Chi-Chi if he himself sets out to find Banshu fan and Chi-Chi. Yamcha and Poor, who overhear the entire conversation, panic as Ox King shows Goku a picture of Chi-Chi and they see that. She is the same girl Yamcha had beat it earlier, they begin to worry that they have killed him. Soon, they return to where they left Chi-Chi and see her still on the ground. Yamcha holds her and is relieved to see that she is still breathing. Chi-Chi wakes up and immediately prepares to attack Yamcha. In a panic, Yamcha tells Chi-Chi that he is her secret admirer and loves her. Suddenly Yamcha sees Goku and so he runs away with Poor, while Chi-Chi is busy talking to himself. Goku then sees Chi-Chi and tells him that he is going to help him find Master Roshi. Chi-Chi climbs onto the flying Nimbus but in the process pulls Goku's tail. Goku tells him that he loses all his power when someone pulls his tail. Yamcha overhears Goku and is happy to learn of his weakness. Back at the Nimbus and out of the desert, Goku and Chi-Chi stop and ask the dolphins for directions. The duo arrive at Roshi's island and are greeted by Master Roshi and the turtle. Goku and Chi-Chi finally arrive at the Kami house. However, Chi-Chi is a bit skeptical about whether or not he is Master Roshi, so she throws up her helmet blade to see if she can dodge it. He senses the attack but not fast enough to dodge it. While Chi-Chi scolds him, the turtle hermit takes out his hermit club card as evidence. Chi-Chi apologizes and removes the blade from Master Roshi's forehead. Master Roshi then talks to Goku in secret and says that if Goku sets him on a date with Bulma, he will let them use the Banshu fan. Goku agrees, and the master also mentions not telling Chi-Chi about the deal. While searching for the Banshu fan, Turtle mentions that Master Roshi was last using it as a placemat. The Roshi says that he threw it out because it was sticky with the juice spilled on it. Master Roshi then decides to go to Fire Mountain himself to put out the fire. After calling baby Gamera, all three were on their way. Arriving at Fire Mountain, the Ox King rushes to greet his old master. And Master Roshi immediately falls to the ground, circling around makes him dizzy. After scolding the Ox King for killing people over his treasury in his palace, the mighty giant begs his pardon. Meanwhile, Master Roshi pulls Goku and Bulma aside and explains the deal he made with Goku. At first, Bulma becomes very mad, but Master Roshi explains that the Dragon Ball is still inside the castle. Bulma will go on a date with him only when the Roshi puts out the fire. Meanwhile, Yamcha and Pure still stare in amazement. After using his energy and uttering the phrase Kamehameha, Master Roshi releases the energy towards the palace. When it's all over, he returns to his normal self, but everyone mentions that even though the fire is extinguished, the palace is also destroyed. However, Bulma manages to find the Dragon Ball in the wreckage. Master Roshi tells Goku that Kamehameha took him 50 years to perfect. However, Goku completes it in 50 seconds and destroys the capsule car in the process. Again, Goku mentions that it was not as powerful as Master Roshi. Master Roshi is dumbfounded, but after the Ox King mentions that he is Grandfather Gohan's grandson, 
They talk about him briefly. When Bulma sees that Goku has destroyed the car, she is upset. But the Ox King provides the group with a hover car to use for a good cause. However, before Goku, Bulma and Oolong take off, Master Roshi reminds Bulma of the deal. Quickly, Bulma pulls Oolong aside and asks him to go on a date with Roshi. At first Oolong refused but after some persuasion from Bulma, he agreed. Oolong then turns into a younger and chubby version of Bulma, much to his annoyance. He transforms into a similar version of Bulma and goes on a date with Master Roshi. On this date, which is nothing more than a walk, Oolong, turned into Bulma's form, shows her chest to Roshi, who completely lays the master on the floor and the date is effectively over. Looking from afar, the real Bulma can't believe that Oolong has done something like this. Goku and Chi Chi talk for a while and both ask if they will think about each other. Chi Chi asks if Goku will take her as his bride, to which Goku admits he wants her, leading to a misunderstanding. Eventually, the group takes off, and Yamcha and Poor follow in their aerial car. Goku, Bulma and Oolong stop in a town to refuel the hover car while Bulma leaves for shopping. Meanwhile, the people of the town seem to be scared of Bulma. The gas station owner gives them free gas, as he is also afraid of Bulma. Bulma finds a shop that sells dino capsules, and she manages to get $100 worth of them for free, because the shopkeeper is afraid of Bulma. Then, she enters a clothing store and buys some new clothes wearing bunny ears, not even realizing she's wearing them until she looks at herself in the mirror. She takes them off, much to the surprise of the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper asks if she's with the rabbit gang, and she replies that she isn't and doesn't even know who they are. On being cheated, the shopkeeper in anger threw him out of the shop, suddenly, no one is now afraid of Bulma or paying attention to his presence. Meanwhile, two armed men wearing rabbit ears arrive in the city and start creating trouble, making people fear for their safety. The two men refer to themselves as rabbits, they quickly notice Bulma and proceed to attack her because she is the new girl in town. But she turns down their advances. Goku fights the men and defeats them easily. Then, they ask their boss to come to the city. The boss monster turned out to be a giant rabbit named Monster Carrot. Meanwhile, Yamcha tries to remember something about the monster rabbit from afar. Monster Carrot calls for a truce and offers to shake Bulma's hand. Then, Yamcha remembers that the rabbit's touch is his weapon. Bulma slaps his hand and turns into a carrot. Goku prepares to go on the offensive, but the monster carrot threatens to eat Bulma if he tries to attack. Goku gives up, and Oolong gets into the hovercar. Then, the rabbits start beating Goku. Yamcha intervenes and takes out the thugs, while poor, now transformed, takes the carrots from Monster Carrot's hands. Yamcha then instructs Goku to use his power pull to take out the Monster Carrot so that he doesn't have to touch it. Meanwhile, Monster Carrot follows poor. Poor hits on pole and falls to the ground, dropping the carrot. Goku, Yamcha and Monster Carrot all jump for the carrot, but Goku uses his power pull to drive the carrot away. Goku and Yamcha avoid touching the Monster Carrot while keeping Bulma intact. Monster Carrot notices Poor and threatens to turn him into Carrot, but Poor himself turns into Monster Carrot and threatens to touch him. Goku then uses his power pull to kill the Monster Carrot and threatens to do it again, if he doesn't turn Bulma back to normal. Monster Carrot does as he is told, and Bulma returns to normal. Meanwhile, Yamcha and Poor run away with Yamcha remarking that it was easier for Bulma to be around when she was a Carrot. Later, Oolong returns to the city and is verbally beaten up by Bulma for flying. Oolong also remarks that Bulma was good as a carrot which angers him. Tying up the rabbits, Goku uses his power pull to take them to the moon. When he comes back to Earth, he explains that if the gang holds a feast for all the children of the world for a full year, he will come up and bring them down. Oolong, Bulma and Goku are getting closer to the final Dragon Ball in their hover cars when Oolong asks Bulma about the wish. Bulma tells Oolong that she plans to have a boyfriend with the Dragon Balls. This upsets Oolong. He can't believe he is risking his life to have a boyfriend. Oolong suggests that they want money or at least something that is beneficial to all of them. Following them, Yamcha and Pure are still on the chase and Yamcha is excited that it is time for them to fulfill their wish. At Pilaf's palace, Emperor Pilaf threatens Mai to quickly fix her Dragon Ball radar or she will be fed to alligators. Mai talks with Pilaf about food to distract her, keeping her off the count to give her more time to recover the radar. She locates a Dragon Ball in the castle and Shu follows the instructions given to her. When Shu finds the Dragon Ball, Pilaf hits him on the head, saying it's the one they already have. Later, a robot bird informs Pilaf that the remaining six are on his way and sends Shu and Mai to retrieve them. As Goku, Bulma and Oolong still pass through the Diablo Desert, Mai, who is standing on top of a mushroom, tells Shu via radio that they are on her way. 
Oolong stops the hovercar and tells Bulma to change his wish which leads to another argument. Shu, who is in a peel-off machine, destroys the hovercar and steals Bulma's case, which holds all of the Dragon Ball and his dino cap. After Shu and Mai go back to Pilaf's palace, Goku sets off on his own to find the Dragon Balls but then sees Shu's used robot suit in the middle of the desert, Goku thinks it is a person and attacks him. The robot collapses, so he assumes it is dead and goes back to rejoin Bulma and Oolong. When Bulma learns that Goku hasn't received the Dragon Balls, she becomes very sad and starts crying. Goku pleases Bulma by saying that they didn't take his Dragon Ball that he was carrying. Yamcha then makes a daring decision and offers them to ride the Dragon Balls. On their way, Bulma tells Yamcha to close her eyes, which confuses and scares her as she thinks she would like to kiss him. However, Bulma just wants to check their Dragon Radar to make sure they are on the right track. After doing this, Bulma tells Yamcha that he can open his eyes. They go to Emperor Pilaf's palace, and Emperor Pilaf is happy that he will finally have all seven Dragon Balls, he decides to cast them all in one trap. In an attempt to crush them, the pillars pop out of the ground, Bulma is nearly crushed when Goku engages, but Yamcha saves him. Since Emperor Pilaf's first trap failed, he erected a wall around them, trapping our heroes. Bulma says that she is scared and holds Yamcha, which scares him too. Emperor Pilaf now has six of the seven Dragon Balls. Not knowing that Goku has the four-star Dragon Ball, Pilaf sends Mai and Shu to search the Dragon Team's hovercar for the seventh ball. While Goku and Yamcha try to break out of their prison, they soon discover that they are being watched by none other than Emperor Pilaf. Bulma then mocks Emperor Pilaf and is captured by one of his machine claws. To do this Emperor Pilaf was going to give something known as a treatment to Bulma, trying to make it creepy, he gives Bulma a kiss, then throws her back in his prison with the others. Emperor Pilaf then decided to gas him with yellow. Then, he walks into their prison and falls victim to his own plan. Mai and Shu, with the gas mask, walk in and search for Goku for the final Dragon Ball. Not long after taking the Dragon Ball, Emperor Pilaf woke up. Pilaf and his servants then go out to call Shenrong. Without hesitation, they leave the prison door open, escaping the Dragon Ball gang. They begin chasing Emperor Pilaf, but then they run into a giant pinball machine. They are briefly run over by a giant pinball at the end and eventually return to where they started. Goku then uses Kamehameha on the wall, but he only makes a hole small enough for Oolong and Poor to transform into bats and fly, which they do. After being summoned, the eternal dragon Shenrong is now waiting for a wish. Emperor Pilaf is too nervous in front of the dragon to fulfill his desire to become the ruler of the earth. Oolong turns to the eternal dragon and wishes for the world's most comfortable underwear, so that Pilaf's wish cannot be fulfilled at the last minute. Goku uses the Kamehameha wave to break through the wall of the prison. The Dragon Balls turn to stone, and are scattered around the world, not found for another year. This upsets Goku as the former has now lost his grandfather's prized possession. An angry Pilaf orders his henchmen to kill Goku and his friends and Shu calls the dog police to attack them. Yamcha and Goku fight the dogs but later Goku has exhausted his energy before using Kamehameha, and is no longer able to retaliate and Shu and Mai jump down and capture the group. The group ends up in another prison, this time with three solid feet of steel to put a damper on any escape plans. Emperor Pilaf planned to fry them with the sun in the morning. It is a full moon, and Goku tells them that a terrifying demon emerges on a full moon, and it once tramples his grandfather Gohan. Although the others are unsure, they tell Goku not to look at the moon, but he immediately sees it. At first, there doesn't seem to be a problem, but then he transforms into a mighty beast, kicking them out of prison in a devastating rampage. Goku, who had turned into a great apes after seeing the full moon, broke out of Emperor Pilaf's cell and began destroying Pilaf's palace. Pilaf, Shu, and Mai, who have been sleeping all the time, wake up and realize that something is destroying Pilaf. Palace. Yamcha, Oolong, Pure, and Bulma all try to escape from the palace, but Bulma sprains her ankle. With Oolong and Poor not strong enough to help her, Yamcha must overcome his fear of women and help Bulma escape safely. Meanwhile, Furious at the destruction of his palace, Pilaf tells Mai to roam. His plane starts shooting Goku but it seems to have no effect on him. Then the plane unleashes a heat-seeking missile and takes out the great ape Goku. Then everyone assumes that Goku is indeed dead and Pilaf starts jumping up and down on his tail. Shu and Mai then recognize that the ape's hands are starting to get shaken scared. The great ape Goku awakens and is chased by Emperor Pilaf and two of his henchmen who then flee back to their plane and try to escape. Emperor Pilaf and his two henchmen who then fled back to their plane tried to escape. They fly away but Goku throws a tower at the plane causing it to crash. Yamcha finds Bulma trapped under another tower in Pilaf's palace. 
Yamcha climbs up the tower to take out Bulma but is chased again by Goku. The ape picks up Bulma and she screams until she passes out. Then Goku begins to lick her, seemingly intending to eat her. Poor then mentions that Goku's weak point is his tail. So Yamcha uses his power of the wolf fang fist to break the castle and make a sword out of stone. And he tries to cut off Goku's tail. However, this has no effect. And the sword shatters because it was not sharp enough to cut off the tail. Yamcha then grabs Goku's tail with the help of Vulong. While Poor turns into a pair of scissors and cuts it off, Goku leaves Bulma and shrinks back to his normal form, where he is left naked and unconscious. Pilaf is sad about his castle, and he orders Mai and Shu to shoot them all. Pilaf then runs in the other direction and when Shu and Mai see this, they decide to run away with Pilaf as well. The next morning, Goku doesn't remember anything about his transformation the night before. So the rest of the group agrees not to tell him about it and the fact that he is probably the demon who killed his grandfather, Gohan. Goku then learns that his tail is gone and assumes that she has run away and is given to cover Oolong's pants. Later, Goku goes back to the ruins of Pilaf's palace to retrieve his power pole. Bulma is mad now that she was not getting a boyfriend and Yamcha is mad because she is still going to be shy around girls for another year. But then they see each other and enjoy being boyfriend and girlfriend. When Goku returns, Bulma gives him his dragon radar so that he can take his grandfather's dragon ball in a year, when they will be back to normal. As they decide to part ways, Bulma and Yamcha plan to return to town with Puar and Oolong tagging along. Yamcha then takes out a jet capsule and takes off with everyone else. Goku then climbs onto his flying Nimbus, and heads to Master Roshi's island for training, saying goodbye to Bulma, Yamcha, Oolong, and Poor. Hope you liked the video, make sure to subscribe our channel for more. Thank you and good luck.